Here is a video that will be helpful to people who live um, in areas where you're allowed to build stairs like these. Um, where I live today in Southern California, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to build a set of stairs that just comes to a point on the inside. The building code books um, usually require a six inch minimum width here and a 12 inch or a, I should say 10 inch minimum walk line and I'll put a couple of videos in here throughout the or a couple of links throughout the video for more information if you're looking about that but uh, the reason why I made this video is because I came across a um, someone else who made a video about uh, building codes and uh, they didn't have this um, they could come to a point like this so check with your local building department before you build your stairs like this or um, you could run into problems um, especially especially if someone ever tripped and fell down a stairway that wasn't up to code you could be up a creek uh, without a paddle there so i will leave that one up to you so let's go ahead and get started here we have four steps going up to um, six steps six winders and then four more steps going up. And I believe this one here is 15 risers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The next one's gonna be 14 risers and the last example will be 15 risers, I believe. So let's take a look at what it would look like coming up four to our steps. And again, the reason why the building codes changed is because this is dangerous. I've actually walked down a set of stairs like this. I actually built one in in a house that I owned at one time and uh, it didn't come up. It just it was a it went up from here I think three or four steps down to a three-step landing and then down about six steps. Everybody in the family fell at least once down these stairs including myself. So you just have a tendency to hug the inside of this thing as you're going around. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is because let's just say that your building codes allow it, but you could redesign the stairs in a way to where you wouldn't have to have it. Then I would strongly suggest that uh, using the other methods where you have a six inch minimum width at the inside uh, corners. So this is what this one here looks like. And in our second example, we are going to have 14 risers here. If you needed 15, you could add another step at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And here we have a little wider spot. Um, this one here is gonna be more comfortable to walk up and, um, and use. And don't forget if you need to, um, you're not going to have the headroom maybe for this step here. You can always put the step on this side here, have it go up four steps and then up five steps from here, um, kind of a thing. So up four steps around and then up five steps if this is going to create a headroom problem for the building you're working on. So here again, we don't have our six inch minimum width, but I'm pretty sure we have our walk line um, uh, measurement of at least 10 inches coming around here. So that is what this one here looks like. And in our third example, this is going to be the smallest one that we have. And I have seen these built in other countries. And again, this is going to be a real tight um, step, but you could always force yourself, train yourself to walk around the stairs like this instead of around the inside. You could, you could force yourself to be careful. Not suggesting it's always going to happen for everybody. And uh, I personally don't think I would build a set of stairs like this. Um, I would redesign the building. And if you didn't have enough room, you're kind of stuck with it. I understand. Do what you have to do. And the building codes, uh, the building code books often require a three foot minimum um, width for a stairway. If you're in a place where you can make this a little smaller, um, 30 inches or you know 28 inches, something like that, then the stairway is going to fit in even a smaller space. 
And of course, this one has 15 risers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now let's take a look at what it looks like. And you can see here that uh, got a pretty tight inside corner. And again, I've seen these built, um, uh, you know, using the internet, searching for researching stuff searching for video ideas. I've seen these built in other countries. This isn't a problem for them or their building codes don't um, have an issue with it. But this is actually four steps in this section where the winders would have three. And in our previous example, we only had two steps. I would not suggest cramming five steps into here. That would be just too much for for this you can really see how tight this is i mean if you fall here you're not going to have much to grab onto um you know and you're going to go fast that's not going to be uh, that's a pretty steep uh, climb there and again if you need to add steps to the top or um, add them to the bottom you can and that is it for this video so hope it helps if you're looking for cramming some stairs into a tight area and something like this will work with your um, design and your building codes. Um, just don't forget, keep in mind that this could be a safety issue, um, you know, especially if you have a small family. I mean, the last thing I would want to do would build a set of stairs like this if I had uh, young children. You know, one of them takes a tumble uh, down something like this um, that could be brutal. So that's it for the video. Um, if you like it, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button and any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area. Questions I will answer as soon as possible.